after your bunk, Payne. All of you. Kane, you got a visitor. Who is it? All right, what's going on, everybody? So we got our special guest today, Major Dodge from episode 304, The Right Path, a.k.a. Guard Randall. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. All right. So how did you uh, get into acting initially? Oh, wow. Uh, it's funny you should ask. I actually started acting as a child uh, I, in the sixth grade. I was the class yeah. clown. And yeah. uh, Mr. Herbert, he... Uh, he says, we're going to put up a play this year to raise money for camp because not yeah. everyone could afford to go to camp. And he's going around the room and giving out parts and he gets to me and he goes, and Dodge, you're going to be the lead. And yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was a punishment because I was always yeah. in trouble with the class clown. So I stood up and I said, what do I got to be the lead for? And he said, cause you're the class clown and you got a big mouth Dodge. So I yeah. everyone's going to be able to hear you up on that stage. Yeah. <laughs> so that yes. was the birth of my acting career. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what was your audition process for Cobra Kai like? It was simple. Honestly, uh, no callback. I made yeah. one tape, sent it in. Um, I got it in pretty quickly. Didn't hear anything for, I was it, like maybe five days. Um, yeah. The crazy thing about it, so my son, he's, he's just he just turned 11. And he's an actor also. Yeah. And uh, he was a series regular on season two of Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, his name's Major Dodge Jr. But... Um, uh, we had um, auditioned, or I had auditioned for Cobra Kai right before he auditioned for Roswell, New Mexico. And so yeah. we had left together to do his show in Santa Fe. And while we were there, uh, the booking came in. Yeah. And so um, and the, the show shoots in Atlanta. So I had to have my mom fly in and yeah. uh, replace me as dadager so I could go to Atlanta and uh, work on the show. Yeah. So uh, for your scenes, was that like an actual like junior? They just have like a set built up. Yeah, that that's all a set. It's on a soundstage. Yeah. So were you a uh, Karate Kid? All fan? the sets were all the sets are side by side. So I got yeah. to see the do I got to see the dojo. Um, I got to see like a lot of the locations. Um, you know, typically when you make a TV show or a film, you you can shoot the exteriors anywhere. Yeah. Um, but it makes a lot of sense, you know, because if you're inside, you're inside, so you can kind of kind of be anywhere. Yeah. So were you a Karate Kid fan before booking the role? Die hard. Die hard. Yeah. And, um, you know, the great thing about being a dad is you get you get to relive all those iconic moments and shows. And yeah. what, what's, what was trippy for my kid is that right before we had left to go do his show, uh, I showed him the original Karate Kid for the first time. So just imagine yeah. seeing the first Karate Kid. And then yeah. three weeks later, three weeks later, because when you watch a movie, like he knows it's set in the 80s, but for him, he just saw it. So it doesn't register. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it was like he got to watch the movie for the first time. And then three weeks later, he got to binge the entire first two seasons. Dang, um, yeah. we the booking came in on a Friday. And so his show, they didn't work on the weekends. So we actually locked ourselves in our hotel room in, yeah. in New Mexico. And we watched the entire first two seasons in that weekend. Uh, so yeah. I had seen everything by the time I got to got to set to work on the show. I had seen the entire two seasons. Yeah. So um, I know you weren't in season one or season two, but what was that move to Netflix? Like I know because like y'all shot it, I believe, in like 2019, right? Yeah, we shot the show. Uh, I shot my stuff in uh, I think it was November of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. So it was quite some time to to wait. But that's that's typical with a lot of stuff. Um it's it's not the fastest turnaround so with with a lot of tv shows yeah so it, it was still with youtube at that time though before you know they changed yeah yeah, yeah we watched it on youtube it was yes. funny when it came to netflix watching everyone's reaction i was like man yeah. i've already seen it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> exactly <season> three. <laughs> yeah um yeah so did you just did you get to meet martin Cove? because i know he was in like that next scene um I did. I, I've met him a couple times, actually. Yeah. He. Uh, I, I met him actually for the first time. I met him at a comic con. Uh, we yeah, were at the same. same at the same con, and then I met him again. He worked on a buddy of mine's movie that filmed uh, in Dallas, where I live, yeah. called VF VFW. And uh, and then yeah, and then I met him on set. I actually met everyone. It's funny because uh, Billy didn't even have any have any scenes the day that I was filming, but he he came to set. Apparently, he likes. He likes coming even when he's not working just to be there and hang yeah. out 
and watching the other stuff. So that was pretty neat. Everyone was super nice. And, uh, um, it was, it was, it was pretty cool getting to meet Ralph because, you know, he was such a, an iconic character and kind of yeah. almost like a childhood idol. So Karate yeah. Kid was one of those movies when I was a kid that when I watched it, it made me want to be an actor. Yeah, for sure. So even though my part on the show was tiny, it was still, yeah. you know, it was, it was pretty cool. It was kind of, kind of a dream come true. So. Yeah. So let's uh, talk about your new film that just released today. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the seventh day starring Guy Pierce, uh, it, it just hit theaters today. It's uh, streaming as well. And uh, I play the main kid's dad uh, in the film. Yeah. And uh, I get murdered by him with uh, <laughs> an axe to the forehead. So that's always Dang. fun. <laughs> yeah. The kind of like a horror type of movie. It's like a horror thriller. It's like a training day meets the exorcist, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What was it like to work with, you know, Cameron Boyce? I know he's passed now, but uh, what was that kind of like? Cameron? Uh, Cameron was awesome. Um, we filmed that show in January of 2019 and it, and it just came out on Thursday of, of this week. Um, it just came out yesterday. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, uh, the last thing that Cameron did before he passed. So, um, it was, you know, pretty neat to, to get to work with him. And, uh, what, he was just a great yeah. kid. It was tragic, honestly, that he, that he, yeah. he so soon, you know, at 20 years old. Um, one of the coolest things about working with Cameron, for me, so I made a movie. I also produce films. I made a movie in 2018 called Bomb City. Yeah. Um, streaming on Amazon Prime, played in theaters, and yeah. it was kind of my baby. And uh, he had seen the film. And uh, yeah. the way it came yeah. up in conversation was uh, Randy Blythe, who's the lead singer of Lamb of God. Yeah. Uh, we were chatting, and he was like, How do you know Ash? Because, you know, Ash Abelson, the creator of the show. I was like, Oh, Ash and I connected because. I made a movie called Bomb City and they released our soundtrack, Sumerian Records, and they did all yeah. of our merchandise. And Randy was like, wait, what? You made Bomb City? He goes, I yeah. effing love that movie. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it was my baby. And he's like, wait a second, were you that asshole cop? I was like, yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> and then Cameron overheard it and Cameron came up and he's like, you made Bomb City? He's like, I love yeah. that movie. It was just really, it was just a really cool thing to uh, have made a piece of art, you, you know, yeah. myself. So I've been an actor my whole life, uh, you know, like I said, since elementary school, uh, professionally for about 22 years. But uh, that was the first feature film that I made that I produced, yeah. you know, kind of built from the ground up with a couple of buddies. And uh, just to see, you know, these big time, these big time stars and how, you know, that it affected them. It made, it made, uh, you know, it made the work all, all the more sweet. So, yeah. Yeah. So what was it like to work on uh, NCIS New Orleans? NCIS New Orleans was great. It's a great show. I mean, the city of New Orleans itself is awesome. So anytime you get to travel there for work, it's it's really cool because there's a lot to do, a lot of good food. Um, yeah. One really cool thing about working with Scott Bakula is that he does all of his own stunts. So I don't, oh, I don't yeah. know how old he is. He's in his 50s probably. But I, I was, you know, cutting it up with his stunt guy. And he's like, yeah, I really get to do my job because Scott always takes my work. He just yeah. loves he loves every moment of it. And that was pretty cool because um, yeah. I, I, I punch him out in front of his bar. We're getting kind yeah. of a, a fight out front of this bar. You may have seen it. And um, that was really cool. I've gotten hard to do that a lot recently or uh, over my career. I've, I've, yeah. I've punched out like three, three big stars. He's, he's on my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it like, you know, being an actor, director, producer, like what is it, you know, going from the different types of, you know, on screen, behind the screen type of, you know, roles and like, you know, film and television. Well, Acting is fun because once you get the part, you show up, all the work is done once you get to set. I mean, that's yeah, that's when you're having fun. You do all the preparation. As a producer, the work never ends. Yeah. So, you know, sure. I always say you spell producer W O R K um, because <laughs> you have to make sure everything yeah. goes the way it's supposed to be. You know, usually the first one there, the last one to leave. And uh, it's just a lot more work. Um, and acting is, you know, it's uh, it's work, but once you get there, you're doing what you love, and uh, it doesn't feel like work. So yeah, I I do prefer acting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's your next big you know thing you want to be in, like type of role or type of film or you know type of television series? Yeah. So I'm currently I just finished filming season five of Queen Sugar. I have a recurring uh, role on that show, and it starts airing this Tuesday night, March 30th. Um, my 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 first episode. 
Um, but other than that, I my, my I have another baby uh, that I'm building, like Bomb City. Yeah. It's an MMA drama, gritty father son MMA wrestling drama um, called Rear Naked Choke. It's named oh, after yeah, old nice. and MMA. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, think of the wrestler meets warrior. Um, and so uh, I wrote this script. So this is uh, I'll be adding screenwriter to my to my resume. But um, I'm really I'm really passionate about this, and it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of my baby. So, um, and uh, I hope to start shooting that in the fall. So I'm just starting to put all the ducks in a row to start yeah. making that for me and probably November around yeah. the time wrestling season starts back up. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a wrestler. So I know all about that. Get out of here. You are. Yeah. Are you? So, yeah. Okay, cool, man. Awesome. Well, I, I coached my son has wrestled since he was in kindergarten. He's in the fifth grade. I wrestled yeah. my entire life. I wrestled in college on scholarship. And yeah. I wrestled. Uh, that's part of my story, actually. So, like I said, I did the play in the sixth grade, and then wrestling took over my life. And then my yeah. junior year of college, I tore my ACL, and I was like, "F this, I'm burnt out." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, where'd you? Uh, yeah. Where'd you wrestle at college at? I wrestled at the University of Indianapolis. It's an NCAA okay. Division II school, but uh, D two, so they they still gave scholarships, which is really cool. I grew up in Indiana, so it was. It yeah. wasn't uh, too far from home, but close enough. It was yeah. a two and a half hour drive by car. And uh, I was kind of a mama's boy, so I knew I, I could get home to her cooking whenever I needed to. For sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of glad to see more wrestling films coming. Uh, th they came out with one like last year. I hadn't seen it, though. Vision Quest is like the only one that really stands out to me. Yeah, that's a classic. You've already seen Vision Quest? Yeah, I've seen Vision Quest. Man, I, I, I don't think I got to see that until I was like a junior or senior. Yeah, I've seen it a few years back. So, uh, is there any other, you know, upcoming projects that you can currently talk about? I think we kind of covered them. Yeah, I've got yeah. Paradise City came out on Thursday. The seventh day opens in theaters today. Um, Queen Sugar starts airing on Tuesday. And then, you know, Rear Naked Choke is the next movie I'm producing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I would just say, if you want to see see something that I'm, I'm the most proud of, i tell people to check out bomb city on Amazon prime. So yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. So when it comes to Cobra Kai, are you, uh, well, I'll go with the end of season three. Now, are you team, you know, Cobra Kai or team Yagi or team combination? Uh, you know, it's funny. It's that, um, you know, growing up, you love Ralph, right? You love, Oh yeah, and, for sure. Yeah, you're, you're, and, 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 and I'll never forget that moment of uh, laying in, 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 in my room, uh, in my hotel room in, in Santa Fe and watching it with my, my, my little guy. And yeah. uh, when that change took place and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't like Daniel anymore. I like Johnny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he kind of, yeah. you know, he's, he's kind of a, he's kind of a little bit of a dick now. Oh yeah. He, he's he, kind of, you know, it's weird because your allies, you know, your, your uh, alliance kind of changes. Yeah. Yeah, it can change every episode or season. Or but you know, Johnny's so charming, man. The minute he, yeah. you know, he didn't know what Facebook was, he's still driving, you know, like a red Firebird and listen to yeah. 80s rock. I was like, yeah. oh, I love him. Yeah, so. that doesn't even know, um, you know, do you plug a computer in with a, you know, I, I love that. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was your uh, favorite uh, scene or episode of season three? Oh, the one I was on. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah. So I, I got one more question. So uh, do you have any advice for anybody, you know, that is uh, interested in getting into the acting industry? Uh, absolutely. Um, with anything, uh, I would say, whether it's acting or sports, you know, you being a wrestler, you can totally relate to this and understand this. Sure. But, uh, you know, so as a man thinketh is he. If you want something enough and, 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 and you uh, put in the work for it, you, you can make it happen. Anything's possible. There's so many people in life that want to be naysayers and tear you down, tell you you're not good enough. You don't come from this family. You don't have this background. You don't have this amount of money. Um, yeah. And I think that's why people like me and you being wrestlers really resonate with the karate kid is yeah. because it's an, underdog, it's an underdog story. You know, For the sure. original, you know, it's uh, Daniel came from nothing and, and he became something. And I think, uh, you know, it's like, it's like Rocky, you know, it's like uh, everyone wants to cheer for the, for the underdog. Sure. Um, and so I would just leave your audience with this is that if you want something bad enough and you're willing to put in the work and believe in yourself, even when things go wrong, um, sure. you can overcome anything and, um, don't let anyone stop you. 
the, yeah. the people the people that the people that used to you know try to destroy my dreams the most when i was younger are the ones that are you know sending me messages and sliding into my dms now yeah trying they, trying to kiss your butt <laughs> now if you're successful yeah <laughs> exactly it's like oh really you know oh yeah now now, now yeah now you want to talk to me yeah yeah i know what you're talking about <laughs> for uh, sure yeah i just want to thank you for coming on it was great to be able to chat with you today absolutely man it's it's great to chat with you too and uh all the more love now knowing that you're part of the the wrestling family so for sure we got a bond yeah all right see you all right brother take care